this one's untitled as yet <coughs> you like my Abraham Lincoln pose mm-hmm. just met some older men and took one look at me for thought who's he then what's he doing that funny Christian you know turned out the guy was, is a driver and uh, he drove the Dalai Lama around they knew this Sami Ling Buddhist center up in Eskdale Muir where I was taken just recently but about 10 years ago he was saying he drove the Dalai Lama armed guards in the car and police escort front and back <laughs> funny old world I've always known this, you see. I've always known that I want to make this world a better place for my passing. That's what I'm going to do. So, when I was in a town called Humansdorf in South Africa, uh, Ernie Els has got a golf course there and stuff. Big golf in town. No, it's not, it's not Humansdorf. Uh, it'll come to me, another town. George, George south of the Okwenika Pass, Otenikwa Pass, George it's called, only else golf it. Anyway, chap I knew that, Christian, okay, go for what stayed, yeah, but we'd end up talking for hours. I know people who are Christian, I just know, my spirit knows. Point of story was, he kept showing me this about Moses. Well, Moses wandered with the Israelites, the Jews, in the desert for 40 years you see so the longer God keeps you waiting the more he loves you the more he is testing you and then when in his time you are ready then you can be of service this I understand intellectually (laughs) not so easy to live it I have been tested now for the best part of 19 years I feel this test going on so that's over half my adult life since I last felt right about the world and then I met my former wife etc my son is 16 years old but it was before that it started basically the moment I met that woman okay There's nothing I can do about it. I know this. It's in your time, my lord. I'm impatient, obviously. I want to get on with it. But the timing is in your hand. I do things in my own sort of way, and then I look back and I think, oh, that kind of fits in. I mean, this pilgrimage around the world kicked off, particularly just the week after 9-11 completely unrelated really but the fact is for personal particular re- I've been living in the mountains in France for three years three winters and more and the locals were getting ornery quite frankly they didn't want the stranger around so I left with my two German shepherd dogs in the back of the car and off I went through Europe and my little by the racing Persia motor for six months and then I bought a property in Holland but anyway <coughs> you see that I was basically from that point even though I still had the two prop- I had two properties in France and then I had one in Holland and stuff but effectively then I'd, I'd become and then I went back to England and then I went off to South Africa and I had a Land Rover she was my home for etc but it's been a process of but my home now is in the rock my spirit is based on the rock of my faith my love for you my lord I come from a good family, so you know I, I, I've never want, had mat- uh, been in want materially. We're not well off. Family, but, you know, always had enough. So I'm blessed. Now I can see how blessed I am more clearly as he And that I know that my Redeemer liveth in the depth of my soul. I know this. So I'm the lucky one. I love you, my lord, with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. What's the right?